turn your eyes upon Jesus, look full in his wonderful face, and the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Hallelujah. Amen. Who believes that? Who's seen that in their lives, whether maybe when you were young or when even recently? You know, I felt as we were singing earlier, in Christ alone and through the storm, He is Lord, Lord of all. I felt like the Lord was saying that there were storms over people's lives. But as we fixed our eyes on Jesus, you know, as you know, I know because I live in Mogul, when the winds really pick up those storms, they move on really quickly through where I live. And I just felt like even this morning that as we fixed our eyes on Jesus, those storms, those storms, maybe some of your storms have been going for years and years those storms this morning. There was a wind that was being stirred up as we looked at Jesus and those storms were being blown and there was going to be new life and abundance that was coming. And so I want to declare that if that's okay, church, this morning, yeah, I could always declare doom and gloom, but I think it's better to declare the good stuff, right? And to believe in the God who says, hey, let hope arise in my presence. Let all things good come from me, yeah? So let's just declare that right now. So if you've got a, a storm in your life, you can take this for yourself. But what I'd love for us to do is just put a hand on the person next to you as I pray this, okay? It's far better to give it away as well right now. Okay, we're going to pray that right now the wind of the Holy Spirit, wind of the Holy Spirit, will just move those storms, move those storms. Just that as we turn our eyes to Jesus, as we look to Jesus, those storms that are right now maybe in the forefront of our mind, Wind of the Spirit, just come through and just move those, move those. We just declare that greater is He that lives in us, greater is Jesus than that which we face in the world. That we can take heart this morning because He says, even though you might have storms and trouble, take heart, I have overcome this world. So we declare over every family represented here through the laying on of hands, God, we declare that Jesus Christ, our Lord, has overcome. Jesus Christ, our Lord, has overcome even the most terrifying of storms, even the most long duration of storms, Jesus Christ has overcome. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God.